I Which one did he sign? sign? Oh, he that signed one both signed. of them. For years, WNBA star Lisa Leslie has had Kobe Bryant's jersey on display in her home. But since his death, it's taken on a special meaning. He will be missed, but he will not be forgotten, that's for sure. They met when Bryant was only 18 years old, before his rookie season with the Los Angeles Lakers and Leslie's debut with the Sparks. The two quickly became rising stars in L.A. basketball and grew close. What do you remember about when you first met him? I would go to the house and he'd be like, Lise, Lise. I'm like, what? Lise, come here, come here, come here. Watch this, watch this. So he's always, he's watching Jordan videos. Michael right? Jordan Michael videos? Michael Jordan. He's clicking the pause and look, 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 Lise, watch, watch. So he studied Michael Jordan? Beyond studied. I mean, he would like obsess over watching these videos. He imitated everything Jordan did. Like, if you watch Kobe's interviews, like the way he talks, the way he moves his mouth, when he licks his lips, <laughs> when he puts his tongue out, when he played, everything was about Michael Jordan. And that's the player that meant everything to him. And he wanted to be great, not good, but great, like Michael Jordan. When people say arrogant and aloof, that's not what you remember about him. I know it's so well, interesting that people arrogance. that know him. There is arrogance. Absolutely, but the arrogance is not in everyday life. The arrogance is in the world of basketball. On the basketball court, you're On saying? On the basketball court, no. You're not, you're not my friend and I'm not your friend. And it's either kill or be killed. I'm gonna attack you. I'm going for the juggler at all times. What does Kobe's death, what does his loss mean to women's basketball? You know, he was really making change. Was he? Yes, he's How changing so? the mindsets of other men more than anybody else. He's giving us, he's validating us, if you will, these young ladies who are out there playing, the fact that he's enjoying and being entertained by great basketball. It made other men feel, I'm hoping, like, what, what is this about? Like, this, this is, it, it's good. I've heard that sometimes he would spend more time at WNBA games now than he would at the Lakers games. True? Is that well, true? it's true, but I think it's also because Gigi wanted to see certain players and she was into it. And he, and he talked about just, you know, I, I remember seeing him, he was like, Lise. She got it, she got it. You know, he was just like, she got it. It's tough, Lisa, looking at the pictures of him and Gigi together, playing basketball, yeah. sitting on the sidelines. It really does take your heart and rip it out when I see those pictures. Yes. We know what Kobe's accomplished, but Gigi hadn't, she didn't have the full opportunity to do that. Because you just know that she, she had the, the, the mentality. Mama Cita was yeah. going to make it. She was going to be in the WNBA. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, please go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm -hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm -hmm. I, I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying things didn't yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time, it, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, but the case, is, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. It is interesting to me how deeply his, his death has affected so many different types of people. Why do you think people are so deeply affected, in many cases, by a man they did not know? I really think it's the idea that 
you rooted for him or you didn't. But that was an emotion evoked either way. You know what I keep thinking, Lisa, as, as often as a case, it was probably just another ordinary day for them. And then in seconds, your life is forever changed. Forever changed. It reminded me about the quote about um, joy and sorrow are inseparable. And it's just that, like sorrow has been awakened in my life, in their lives, in the world's lives.